Hi Virgo, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general monthly reading for the sign of Virgo for the month of June of 2019. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you are interested in a private one all the information is down below in the description box. So whomever this is meant for I pulled a 15 card spread. I also pulled an outcome card as well. This is actually a pretty decent spread, I feel. Uh, whoever this is meant for, you first start off with the Two of Cups. So definitely dealing with a relationship, and I did clarify that uh, with the Fool card. Now, the Fool card is literally looking towards the past, okay? So I feel that somebody wants a relationship back again and a whole new start. After, you know, the King of Swords energy here uh, could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, but it's kind of like, you know, I'm kind of contemplating in regards to I'm waiting for this communication in regards to this relationship to start anew. I say that is because you have the three of wands. That's looking out towards your future, hoping for the best, hoping for that new beginning, uh, waiting, basically. I feel with the Hierophant, the Hierophant is a major arcana. He's known as the hubbub. He's the main man, very spiritual card, known as that commitment. I literally take uh, the hand here as to say, uh -uh. so in regards to a relationship, somebody seriously is waiting. What are they waiting for? An apology. I feel that they're talk they want this conversation with the page of pentacles here. They want that offering of balance brought back into this relationship. Somebody from their past, absolutely. Uh, with the six of cups here that has been mentally draining for them with the seven of swords, okay. I feel that whoever this is meant for, they while they've been waiting, they've been manifesting with their thoughts with the magician. What we think is what we uh, create here. And I feel that somebody uh, wants to end that mental anguish, absolutely, and is now trying to positively, uh, that's such a word, uh, to bring on that mental anguish to be gone in order to properly manifest here, okay? Because I feel that now you could be dealing with the uh, King of Cups energy, this is water sign, but for the overall energy, the King of Cups kind of has a rep of, you know, kind of holding within exactly how they feel, all right? Uh, I feel that they definitely walked away, this person, from the past, okay? But I also feel that you're heading towards this victory with the Six of Wands, okay? I feel it has a lot to do with ending mental anguish and properly manifesting, especially with the center energy of that magician there. This is definitely divinely guided as well with the judgment card here. Decisions being made by spirit, I feel. I'm also feeling because of that magician right above the judgment card, uh, spirit doesn't talk the way that we do. We talk blah, blah, blah. They talk telepathically with their thoughts here. So basically with the magician here right above this, what you're manifesting, what you're thinking, spirit is basically hearing your thoughts, okay? Uh, they know the struggle. They know that you want this change in regards to the Knight of Rods here. Kind of in and out energy, very slow pace, and you've been battling with this. I feel bottom line is this, okay? Your outcome is the sun. So things are going to look up, okay? Sun card is the best card that you can get in the tarot deck. Uh, it's known as that yes card. So whatever you're manifesting is going to take place is what this is telling me especially with that judgment card they do hear your thoughts absolutely they hear what you're manifesting in your mind okay so let's take the uh three cards down i'm just going to explain each one here uh they're a little disheveled hang on okay so you have the two of cups the six of cups and the eight of cups so basically in regards to this relationship, you're looking forward to somebody from your past, I feel, that walked away. And you want a new beginning, clarified that two of cups with the full card, okay? Uh, you want this communication that you've been waiting for, I feel, with the king of swords, uh, seven of swords, and the, seven, and the six of wands here. So I do feel that somebody is definitely going to be coming back in regards to communication. Somebody's been seriously manifesting for this. They've been a little stressed out about this past love, but there will be that victory, okay? What you're waiting for is what you're going to get, is what I just heard, yes. Uh, the Three of Wands, the Magician, and the Judgment card, you've been waiting for this while you're waiting, you're manifesting, Spirit's hearing, uh, they're working on things behind the scenes, okay? Uh, the Hierophant, the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Wands, 
I first things first, I feel that in regards to this relationship, I feel that there was definitely a cutoff of communication and you've been battling for this change to take place, okay? I also feel that somebody has been properly manifesting in regards to this relationship. You tried your hardest to end the mental anguish and end that mental battle, okay, basically. Uh, and I do feel that this is going to, this communication with this Page of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Knight of Wands, this slowness in regards to that Knight of Wands, there's going to be an apology they are going to open up, I feel, and express exactly how they feel towards you, which is going to start that new beginning. Basically, what this spread tells me is that uh, there was some type of end of com uh, communication, absolutely, that you've been waiting for to communicate again, okay? It's been a battle, but I feel that whoever uh, got walked away from, to put it uh, not so nicely, uh, I feel that you know, they've been trying to get their balance back in their life again. And I feel that because of that, they're manifesting properly now with better thoughts now. And with that manifestation, spirit is listening to your thoughts. You're actually manifesting with your thoughts and spirit has your back 110%. In the outcome being the sun, that is the best card that you can get. It's very positive, very upbeat. Things are going to get brighter and better for the month of June, I feel. Whoever this is for, awesome spread. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also click that little bell on the side to get updated information. I do weeklies, dailies, monthlies, as well as twin flame readings. You guys rock, stay strong, and I'll talk to you soon.